The special commission formed to uncover what led to the Parkland shooting tragedy is wrapping up a three-day meeting in Broward County. News Channel 8's Evan Donovan is joining us live tonight from Sunrise. That's in South Florida with a recap. And Evan, a lot was learned there at those meetings. Absolutely, Keith. Good evening to you. A jam-packed day three here at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Commission meetings. We learned that while there were many warning signs that happened before this tragedy, many of the systems already in place not only failed, but they weren't set up well enough to begin with. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gualtieri chairs the MSD Commission and highlighted one of the biggest failures, people who are dangerously mentally ill but aren't yet in the mental health system. And the most concerning people are the people that are in this gap. Mm -hmm. And this is where a whole bunch of them are is in the gap. So the question comes is, is that is there something we could recommend? Is there something the legislature can structure? Is there something there? But you have to balance it against civil rights because you're depriving people of their freedom. Another frustration from law enforcement when they recognize someone is a danger but can't get them the help they need. You can believe that we have investigators working literally every day gathering data and putting information together. The commission also has several members who are parents of some of the student victims. One element of failure, how many of these state agencies don't speak to each other enough. It's, it's horrible and that's a concern of mine that we could have more of these attacks if we don't address these issues and it's very disconcerting to hear that all these agencies don't talk and there's silos of information it's never going to get fixed if we don't are not communicating now, the commission will meet every month between now and november and will present its initial findings to the state legislature no later than the first of the new year keith we picked up on it there, there, Evan. There are a lot of moving parts when it comes to keeping our children safe. Did you hear or see anything at the meetings that surprised you? Yeah, you know, I've been down here since the day this shooting occurred, Keith, and I think one of the big things that surprised me is just how many failures there were. These people know where the problems are. They just can't seem to all get on the same page. For example, if someone says they want to kill themselves or others, law enforcement can Baker Act them. But if they go for mental health treatment and they say the right things, they can often be released within a few hours. Still just as much a danger to society. News Channel 8's Evan Donovan reporting live in Sunrise. Thank you.